All right, so we're back at the Walking Dead. Okay. okay. So, paper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Also, it's been weeks since the apocalypse. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh, huh. Right, then it's, um, let's sure. Have a look let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Agreed. Let's go. It's outside. Jesus. Oh my god. I'm glad that you're going to be They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. It's a combination lock. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? See, that's epic. Oh, that's the money trailer, the pharmacy. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of me. Has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. <laughs> Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I can't reach that brick. I don't have anything with this. You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I'm just do that. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, it's open. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? 
Oh, he talk, talks to zombies. I got a few of them to take notice. And he just walked away. But not enough. Okay. Let's just head with dogs. Uh, those things. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Um, let's interview him. How did you end up here? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Alright, oh, yeah. I can't reach that brick. Um, let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Go back first. So we're gonna need to um we need to maximize the volume. But oh, this is the manager. The owner of the place. They somehow did it. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We oh, can't let anything one. happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Hey, Lee. Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Oh, Lee, so he you got a second? His... Sure. He owns this place. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. Happens. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah. That's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Control? Try to let it go. I have a choice, it's already happened. Okay, we got energy bar. Open up. Oh no. What's in here? 
can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh, they're already dead. This door leads to the back alley. First aid kit. Got it. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I can make that bit. We ought to clear this door for when we find. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? Uh oh. No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Um... I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Oh. Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find your bandage. Yeah, I can just find it. Yeah. Oh, there's a trick. Let's examine the finger up then. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. <laughs> Let's see if we can do something about it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, it's not broken. Uh, let me put some bandits. First aid kit. Bad. Uh, 
did they'll, find uh, him. track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? see his face oh so he's the one the other guy find anything Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Harley. And let's go and tweak the wood. Tweak the wood. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Uh, pull finger. Let's just Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Okay, you're fine, Clementine. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills. Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I don't know if you heard from, you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Um, your finger. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Okay. Okay, okay so it's here. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. So I think it's already for everything here, Clementine, um, let's go, let's go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yes? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Sorry, kid, again. Let's uh, head back to the others. Let's go to... How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. 
now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when Was you... anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? What's so, up? I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Okay, okay. Energy bar, let me take the energy bar. So I can replenish myself. And another battery. Um, okay, let's talk to the doctor. Okay, let me get it's not good. much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. The pills are in there. Clementine. Hey there. Hi. Can I get you? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Hey, how's your how's finger? your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Hey, uh, we'll sit tight. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab the energy bar. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. A 
I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. And I'm gonna give you the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Have a look around. Okay. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. It's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it doesn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. Then a bunch of guys showed up in the plane. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Uh huh. Okay. Let's head back inside. Okay. I wanna know, I wanna know, what did you do? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. Over there, but let's go, Clem. Oh, I 
that's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Zombie out on the street. Let me talk about um, let me talk. No, no, no. Keep. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. But let's go, Clem. Get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? I don't remember them very well. Here, I wouldn't find it some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. See? It doesn't have to be dead. Especially. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Um, we're ready to head out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, so that's what I was supposed to do. Thank you, I'm gonna tell you. Get down. <laughs> So close. Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, oh. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you! Now let's go! We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal <laughs> over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> um, where are you now? <laughs> the place. Yeah, it's boarded up. 
So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. No one attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. I think I killed some. We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Then I go up to the truck. Here, here. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I just have to go. Let's keep looking around. You need to find a weapon. You need to find a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of this zone. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. This is not a choice, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Try this and then... Oh, <laughs> Um... Oh my God. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Go back. What's the freaking action? Ah, oh. did you know? They really want to get into that room. my plan I need some work on oh yeah 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 I wonder if there's anything in the pickup something in the pickup but I can't do it he's not going anywhere I'm gonna need some we can do something with that car I bet if it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front You need to find a weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. In the pickup again. I'm done can... trying to punch out windows. What the heck? Can't do anything. Okay, let's go. 
go back to you. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so we just pick the pillow and let's try to smash things. I guess they're on the option. No wonder if there's anything in the pickup. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> um, um, okay. What if we try it with this phone? Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! <laughs> okay, okay, you didn't hear us. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Um. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Uh -huh. exactly. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, let's get me one first. So we did this. Zombie first. Uh -huh. I see. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? 
<laughs> Two more. That should help. Now that kill them both. Got some brains. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Go up. It's upstairs. There we go. This one has so much money. Another one, another one, another one. Rare. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Okay, we're coming in. Is she a zombie? Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh god. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Um, you can't have that. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna die. Oh my god. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Oh, no. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Oh, no. Kill their self. Get out of here. I'm gonna go. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, okay, let's check on Clementine first. What's that? 
How are you, Clementine? So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Uh, no. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay, same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes, deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's stop the blend. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back at the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Bye. What's your next move? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Talk to you later. Next. Go back to hard. Hey, Carly. The Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. You yourself. seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. And that that saved guy you. saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> and how'd you, end, how'd up you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Uh, are you okay? That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, you don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. And then... Let's play go. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? I'm um, okay. Uh, that's not that's not now. now. Alright. Please tell me to go. Open up here. Over here. How we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Okay, so I didn't want to talk. Okay. Let's go, Clementine. And now, go to the apartment.
That's what I figured. Nope, there's nothing on it. And go over here. Okay, let's exit Clementine. Hey. I'm gonna oh. get back to him. Sounds good. Okay. So our next choice is to go outside of the building of the dog. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have, Let's a, look have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. I just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Uh... I can't reach that brick. Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. <laughs> dog. Okay, okay, let's go, dog. I wanna take the break. Let's, Let's go back inside. Back inside. Okay. I think we're gonna need the key. Let's just take the key. Um. We can, can can go there and I we can can get the break and shoot the break until the. Okay. So I think I did everything in here. I can't do it. Yeah, it worth a shot. Keys, it is, I guess. Okay, I think I don't have anything in there. Uh huh. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Clementine. I'll be heading out. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay, let's get in. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Oh wait, wait, wait. Not I don't know. Alright. Go talk to uh, this dude to this dude. Talk to him. Hello, Glenn. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, I didn't know. I'm uh, having a hard time here. Okay, let's go, dog. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Have let's a have around. a look around. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna need something. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I can't reach that brick. What? Oh, there is this thing. Oh, awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Come on, it's a freaking brick. Smash the TV store. Okay, 
Okay, okay, we attack. We attack them. Attack the offensive. Now's the time. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Oh, it's his brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I wouldn't be here. But knowing you were to take care of all the of it, that helped. Dude, 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 come on, there's a zombie. God. Ah, please be dead, please be dead. Please be dead. There we go. Holy crap! Go, 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 let's go, let's go. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Oh my god. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Let's and attack all this freaking zombie. That's her mom. I think that's just a random. Low, low. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Mike, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Oh my god. That was good. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Uh. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh my God! Oh. 
Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, uh. did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is through! Go! Ah! No, 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 no. I found something! Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Let's go! Yes, a gun. I got done. <laughs> oh my god. You can't move! Run, Clementine, run! Well, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eek, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Oh, let's see. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You're gonna join her? Join him? Sorry. Uh, I think that's a better thing. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Oh, maybe this will be our base for the meantime. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you like this video, leave a like, drop a comment, and as always, I hope you enjoy it. Bye bye, good peace, yo.